Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. Today I have got a book review for you as well as, I guess you could call it a haul. I'm going to show you all the things that I have thrifted and collected over the last year for my French inspired bedroom. Well, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Teresa Elling. I'm a professional organizer, parenting coach, wife and homeschool mom to six graduated kids. And today I'm going to go through the things that I have been collecting and gathering for my bedroom. It really hasn't been decorated since we moved in. I did the mirror wall behind me, um, a couple of little things, but that's been it in five years. And finally, I'm getting to it. For the most part, my decorating is pretty eclectic. If I like it, I'll bring it into my home. But there's always a little bit of a defining of a space. And I do like to look at what kind of style am I leaning towards? Not that you have to be strict with that, but it does give you a little bit of direction. When I did one of my guest rooms, which is the Jane Austen room, I did that in an English cottage style. I will link that below if you missed that one. But I was really wanting to go a little more French, but not French provincial and nothing too stuffy, definitely a French country but I also didn't really want to neglect the English country. You might be wondering what the difference is. I can tell you that um, just from my observation, a French country has an emphasis on linens and neutral colors, mixed woods, but especially raw woods, unfinished, stone, weathered terracotta, uh, beams in the ceilings, as well as salvaged architecture. Things like um, busts or sculptures, or even the Fleur de Lis symbol, which is associated with France. Really, they have a claim to it, even though a lot of European nations have used it. There's evidence of it being used in French monarchy as early as, I think, 1060. Fleur de Lis means flower of the lily, and uh, I'm sure that you can recognize it. It's seen all over France. That's often seen in carvings, in woodwork, in metalwork, all over, kind of hidden and sometimes obvious as well. There is quite a connection between English and French country. And a lot of that is because those countries are so connected historically. They were um, enemies feuding for many centuries. And now I believe they are friends, but you know, there was a lot of mixing of the cultures, um, marrying kings and queens. English countryside tends to use some darker woods. Um, both cultures are heavy into books, especially old linen books, plants. I think more of topiaries for French and ivy and cutting gardens for English. Well, the French feels a little more fun loving to me, the English in some ways a little more stuffy, but I kind of picture like C.S. Lewis in his study, tons of old books, beautiful furniture, gallery walls with oil paintings, lots of layers of fabrics, especially with small prints, mixing plaids and florals. I would say a little more color with the English and more neutrals with the French. And again, these are just my observations. I could really go into detail, but that's not the purpose of this video. But I did want to share this book with you, Country Brocante Style. And brocante means um, flea market. So imagine like flea market style. It's kind of that vintage look where everything is old and worn and rich in history. This is also kind of where we get our American shabby chic. It definitely has roots here, but I would say this isn't quite as fussy and ruffly, although ruffles are a key. I want to show you just a few pages from this beautiful book, and then I'll show you the items for my room. What sold me on this book, the description in Amazon, was probably from the back cover. Country brocante style combines the essence of English country with French inspired vintage chic. And I realized that is exactly what I'm going for, really a combo of French and English with a, a rustic country vibe. So country brocante style, 
uh, by Lucy Hayward and photographs by Ben Edwards. It took me a couple of days, but I read this book from cover to cover. I was so impressed with it. I will leave the link below um, in case you want to get this book um, or give it as a gift. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these quilts. Uh, now, the author has been doing vintage flea markets in France for years. And then in this book, she has looked for this style and featured homes with a French country style. What I love about shopping secondhand um, with vintage and antiques is you get a completely original look. When we are buying new things from Target or from Marshalls, um, or even on Amazon, we're getting this same stuff that everybody has. And uh, this is a way to buy very individual things that have a history, that have a story. She talks about the importance of texture, which is especially important if you are doing neutrals or an all white palette. But she also has a section where she talks about the colors that are common to French country style. I do love linens, uh, especially quilts. I love embroidery, uh, cut work, crochet, lace. Look at this beautiful collection of Crocs. Just stunning. It's a whole art piece in and of itself. Um, chippy, worn, whitewashed furniture is very popular in this style. Here's an example of mixing whitewashed furniture. This is a little blue table, um, beams that are in the wall or the ceiling. I love this room. Just pointing out a beautiful sofa with the round arms, clean lines, wood floor with a um, sisal rug, worn furniture, some beautiful original art on the wall, beautiful beds with cotton, with linen, uh, small prints, small ruffles, and again, a table that looks like something that most people would put out on the roadside to go to the dump, and they've brought it into a bedroom, and look at how beautiful it looks. Obviously can't show you everything that's in this book, but if this is something that's interesting to you, I suggest that you get yourself a copy. Just loved pouring over the pages and soaking up this uh, French country flea market style. I have had all of this stuff covered for a long time and that's because I didn't want my grandkids getting into it and so I'm just going to uncover. This is going to be like Christmas for me and I just thought you might enjoy um, the process of looking at these things that some things I haven't seen for probably a year. Um, now these are two recent thrift finds. This old wooden mirror. I love this little hanging um, hook on the top and this beautiful uh, distressed white one. This is very common in French country, the intricate carvings and these are often painted white and then distressed. Uh, this mirror I bought recently at Junk in Your Trunk. Um, if you missed that video, I will post that below. These I thrifted and I think they are absolutely beautiful. I don't think I showed these in a thrift haul, but there's a set of two. These are very ornate, probably a little more than what I prefer, but I fell in love with these and I think combining them with some of the rustic elements, they're gonna look really great. This is another awesome frame. Um, she's probably going to be redonated, but I will keep the frame. And then this, old tin that's very distressed, really beautiful. That was a world market, uh, $20, and I think I got it for two at a thrift store. And then I've collected quite a few gold frames. Again, very intricate carvings. Another one here. And this was part of a thrift haul almost a year ago. I will probably use this as a tray, we'll see. And then I've got quite a few books. This one, this has the fleur de -lis symbol on it. The colors are beautiful, art treasures from the Louvre. 
and I've had this book for many years, but I'm moving it up here into my bedroom. Another beautiful linen cover, and this one is on flower arranging. Uh, there's a stack here that I featured in another thrift haul. And these are some new ones. Well, new to me. They are very old. A Girl of Limberlost. We Took to the Woods. Just the cover and the edge on these. Just gorgeous. And this one is called Mildred. Oh, there's a note in this one. Let's see what the note says. Hello, Mildred. Out of all the world, you are the only person who will appreciate the sending of this book. I saw it at a book sale, have no idea what it is about, but couldn't pass it up on the title. Happy reading, Mildred. So it was given to a Mildred by a Mildred. I would guess maybe a grandma. I don't know. If for some reason you recognize this, and this note was written to you, I sure hope you will comment below and let me know. Wouldn't that be crazy? Last is this little set, Great Epics in American History. Several volumes, but they're just so tiny and so cute. And I thought they would be really beautiful in this room. The colors certainly fit. All right, next. Got some baskets here. Kleenex cover, a basket that I plan on taking this lining out, a wooden tray, thought this might be nice for jewelry or something on my nightstand. Oh, this basket I believe I showed in my estate sale haul. And this blanket is a threshold one new from Target that I got at Goodwill such a beautiful chunky blanket and I've had this basket for quite a while I've just been using it to stash all this stuff into so I'm gonna have to uncover this a suitcase that I got at an antique store the initials are a I H I just thought this was so cute and um, I love to just stack up suitcases I love to use them for storage such a great way to get some extra storage in. I also found this cute little toiletry case and I just love these old ones. It's a Samsonite, so beautiful. What do you call these? I think there's a name for them. It's really beat up inside, but I'm just gonna use it either for storage for something or just to stack up and have it look really cute in my room. A few more books. Um, the Bedside Book of Famous French Stories. Had to get that one. And then I got a whole set of these cookbooks. Um, cooking of Spain and Portugal, Classic French Cooking, Cooking of Italy, American Cooking, and the Cooking of Provincial France. So I think these, again, I just loved how they look on the outside stacked up. I think they'll be very pretty in my room. This uh, was featured in a haul when I went to Idaho. That's my Boise, Idaho haul. I'll link that one below. A couple little frames. I was picturing getting some family photos and putting these maybe on the buffet that's going to be on the wall behind me. I absolutely love this basket. I love the handles on the side. Uh, this is a piece of fabric. Oh, so toile is huge in French decorating. And that's the, you know, the scenes of the countryside, of, of animals, of people, of carriages that are on fabric. They kind of tell a story. And uh, this is in a similar vein, very French looking. My daughter actually found this and thought I would like it. And I really love the colors. We'll see if I find a purpose for that. I did get some candlesticks that to me look very French, very beautiful. And I have been using more candles at night and now is the season. It's the time now that fall is upon us. 
you're saying. <laughs> I don't know that I love the painting, but I do love the frame. I got it for the frame. And here's another really basic wood frame with a mat that I can use. Often I will use the mats or I will redonate the mats or I even spray paint the mats. I do that a lot. If there's one that's like a country blue from the 80s, I'll spray paint it white or cream. So that's a tip for you. It saves a ton of money. I've got these pots that I would love to put some plants in in here. I think these will be perfect. And lastly is this table. And I got this at Junk in Your Trunk goodness a few months ago it was at the beginning of summer i believe and it's beautiful i love the lines on it i love the two tiers and i plan on putting it right either in between these two chairs or next to one of the chairs um, for my reading nook well that's everything for now and it was so fun to just kind of open all these presents see these things that i've tucked away for months and months and now really starting to get vision for what this room is going to look like, beginning to plan. I'm starting to choose the prints that I want to put into frames and uh, looking at some of the furniture that needs to be redone. So those will be a couple of upcoming projects. One will be bleaching my armoire to lighten the color and painting my nightstands. So be on the lookout for those videos. If you haven't subscribed, I would invite you to do so. I would love for you to be part of the Peaceful Home family. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It makes a huge difference in how YouTube recommends my videos. I'm so glad you joined me for this re-unveiling of all of these treasures. And I hope that you will stay tuned and watch the videos that are coming. Thanks so much for joining me today on The Peaceful Home. Have a great day.